Hi guys, in this video we are going to explore Nova Launcher Prime. The video takes a look at the features we get with Nova Prime and see them in action. Here is a brand new phone with Nova installed. Pretty much everything is in Nova Launcher settings. So let's get there. So the first Nova Launcher Prime feature is extra scrolling effects. In the standard version we only get 3 scrolling effects which are on the top but in Nova Prime we get 13 animations in total. Well each effect looks cool but I'm not a fan of those. The next and the coolest feature is gestures feature. Nova Prime offers amazing gesture tools. For example you can open the app drawer, lock screen, search for apps and much more. You can also open an app or create shortcuts like directions to work, send a message to someone or call somebody etc. Nova is optimized for many applications so you will find many shortcuts for gestures in the gestures menu. You can create gesture on swipe up, swipe down, double tap, double tap plus swipe and a few more. The next thing I am going to talk about is notification badges. Nova Prime supports three types of badges. The first one is the coolest which is called dynamic notifications. With dynamic notification badges, the notification badge adopts the nature of notification. There is no better way to explain except showing visually. In the picture, you can see how notification on each app is different. Along with dynamic notifications, you can also change the position and the size of the badge. The next one is Dots, which is a pure Android 8 and plus feature. The next cool notification badge is numerical badge. Nova takes those badges to the next level. It allows changing the style and colors to give them a more personal look. Furthermore, you can also change the corner radius to make them square or circle shaped. The next and the final big tools are hide apps, drawer group and tabs and finally folders on the top. Hiding apps is also possible with Nova Launcher Prime but it's not advanced. A hidden app will disappear from the app drawer but it can still be accessed in the search menu and you don't have a control over it nor you can change anything. The next feature is folders. Tap on add button to create a new folder in the app drawer settings. Just like one UI you will be able to put apps into folders and place the folders in the app drawer and by default the folders will be on the top in the app drawer. Moving to tabs this is kind of a cool feature. You can see the default apps tab which contains all the apps. Nova Prime allows creating multiple app drawers. To create a new tab Tap on the add button and give it a nice name with a preferred color. Tap on the name to add applications. Once you are done you will see something different in the app drawer. The first thing we will see is this folder. You can tap on it to open all the apps. The transparent background gives it a beautiful look. Now if you scroll left you will find the newly created tab containing the selected apps. You can create more tabs and scroll towards left to explore them. Is Nova Prime worth it? Well, the same question is on Reddit. The answer is a bit complicated. If you feel you need any of those features, then you should go with it. I will also recommend trying other launcher apps like uh, Microsoft Launcher or EV Launcher first to see if they fit. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I hope the video Nova Launcher Prime review and features helped. Please let me know if any questions down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Until then, take care.